Hey, how you folks doing? What's up? Welcome back. Tonight, or this afternoon, we're going to be doing a review on Camel Non-Filter Camel Studs. It's Timeless Classic Camel Studs. They're the first camels that ever came out. The pack took a turn for the worse and fell apart with only a couple cigarettes left inside. So I salvaged the cigarettes and the pack fell apart, unfortunately. 70 millimeters or 72 millimeters, I think, and it says camel right across there, kind of like I don't know what you call that angled. I can't think of the word, but it's got like an angle to it, like it did on the pack. It's got this cool font. Smelling it, it's got a very rich. Subtle, sweet tobacco coming off of it. And if I'm shaking, I'm sorry. It's been a couple hours since I had my last cigarette. And sorry if my words seem all over the place. Uh, I haven't filmed in like a week. The last review was I uploaded three days ago, but I think it was like a week ago that I filmed it. And then uploaded it at a later point, so I'm a little rough on this review thing. But Camel non-filters, you can see it's got no filter on the end, either end. It's got a nice brown, kind of light, with some dark in there. Tobacco's on the inside, too. One side seems to be darker than the other. I don't know why that is. But it's a very, very sweet, rich, smelling tobacco coming through. Kind of like how the Turkish Royals smell. But not, like, exact. I'm going to dry my lips off. I'm having a little bit of a fly infestation with my cannabis plants, and I'm um, also having a spider mite problem, so I'm fixing it with garlic. Yesterday I did a garlic and chili powder mix with water. Garlic, chili powder, and water and soap. Today I just did garlic and water. So I'm going to do garlic and water again, and then I'm just going to do uh, straight chili powder and water, and then I'm going to try using a light amount of soap to spray it. Let's uh, see, I'm wearing my head myself. I won't lie. Let's take a dry pop on this, see how it tastes. So funny, nothing comes through. Yeah, there are no perforations in these, unlike the European ones. But without further ado, let's get the camel non filters lit. If my sip wants to work. very <coughs> excuse me a <coughs> very dense body very dense body to it very strong tasting very very strong tasting it's got like a hint of like a very subtle sweetness to it With like a very robust, bold tasting tobacco with like a hint of sweetness. You know, if you go back and dig through YouTube, you might be able to find advertisements saying more Dr. Smoke Camels in the T-Zone. And they're really smooth on your throat. Yes, they are actually pretty damn smooth for being a non-filter. Very clean tasting, pretty quick burning too. You know, it's not the slowest burning smoke ever. Um, pretty quick, but that could just be because I just am used to American spirits. I've never bought a pack of Camel filters before I, I bought this pack. I have had Camel non filters once. I bombed one off of somebody, and I realized you gave me a Camel non filter. That was the first time last year that I last year was the first time I had a Camel stud. smoke in my eye. I didn't review without smoke in your eye. Surprised there's no freaking birds right now. 
you know, because the birds are usually going crazy at this time. I don't know why. They just figure that this is the time to come out. It's usually when they eat is right now. It's a very bold tasting tobacco, but surprisingly, it has no, no, not really much harshness on the throat. And they're definitely damn strong cigarettes. Like, I've smoked almost the whole pack, minus like three of them I have left that I've been saving for a review. <clears throat> but like, I've noticed from the first one I smoked until this one, they're, they're smooth and they're strong. You may notice the scenery change. Now I'm back in my backyard. We, uh, or my dad sanded and refinished our deck out here. Definitely a little bit of a quicker burning cigarette. For sure. I think they're just damn consistent quality cigarettes. They use quality tobacco in them. They use quality papers. You know, they don't burn fast. Really, actually, I'm surprised. These are really smooth on the throat. Throat. Very clean tasting, too. I don't want those damn bugs. I don't know what they are. But I want to find out if they bite or not. I'm going to get smoke in my eye again. Fuck's sake. That fucking stings when you get smoke in your eye. Definitely a quicker burning start. Um, just like the advertisements used to say back in the day, these are definitely good on your throat. Like, they aren't rough on the throat for a non filter, they aren't harsh, they don't really kick. On the throat, they have definitely like that nicotine kick to them, but they don't have a harsh kick on the throat. A very sweet tasting tobacco too, like a sweet, robust, bold tasting tobacco. A little dry tasting, like leaves my mouth a little dry, but that's what happens when you smoke cigarettes, especially non-filters. Take a deep lung inhale, see how it goes down. Yeah, not bad. Really, really smooth. Yeah, not bad. Camel non filters. A little bit of a, a faster paced review. A little bit of a funky taste picking up here off the end. But I'm going to give these a solid 10 out of 10. These are damn good smokes. I'd smoke them again. Uh, if they weren't $11 a pack, I'd smoke them every freaking day. They're 11 30 here. <clears throat> but uh, Camel non-filters, y'all. I'd say go ahead and try these if you haven't. Um, yeah, have a good one. See you next. Thanks for watching and peace.